what is going on guys it's suck and i am back with a brand new video on super duper tech and in today's video i will be showing you guys all of the results that i got when benchmarking the 2017 4k imac now we'll also leave the hardware specifications of this particular model down below in the description section so without any further ado let's hit the titles Now the first benchmarking application that I did run was Geekbench 4. Now Geekbench runs a number of different tests on the CPU and depending on how long it takes for the CPU to complete them, it will get a higher score. Now as you guys can see running these 64-bit tests, I got a single core score of 4,909 and a multi-core score of 14,078. And of course I did also do a 32-bit test and now this gave me a single core score of 4,070 and a multi-core score of 12,414. Now once again using Geekbench 4 I tested the OpenGL performance of this iMac and got a score of 55,541. And the final test that I did using Geekbench 4 was to test Metal and with this I got a score of 33,253. So the next test that I did run was using GFX Bench Metal. Now this does test how well Metal performs when rendering out a number of higher and lower level graphical intensive scenes. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tests so the results that you will see in the table is essentially an average that I have calculated. Now for the higher level graphical intensive scenes I got around 126 0.98 frames per second and as you guys would expect for the lower intensive tasks I got a higher readout of around 159.19 frames per second. Now if you guys do want to double check my calculations or if you want to see the individual tests then of course you can pause at any time. Now the next test that I did run once again comes from GFX Bench but this time instead of testing metal I tested the OpenGL graphical performance. Now with the OpenGL test, it tests it both on screen and off screen, as well as giving us tests for both the higher and lower level graphical intensive tasks. Once again, like I did when testing Metal, I have calculated the averages between all of these results. And here are the results for the higher and lower level graphical intensive tasks that were conducted both on screen and off screen. The next test application that I did run was Aegis Systems test to test out the hard drive performance on this iMac. I've always had consistent results using this but those times I do have an SSD based Mac. And of course this model that I have today has a fusion drive built in it which is both SSD and mechanical hard drive. Now the best results that I did manage to get were a read speed of 1421 and a write of 896. The next benchmarking application that I did run was Novabench. Now Novabench runs a number of different tests to find out how well the RAM, CPU and GPU perform all together. And as you guys can see Novabench scored this iMac 963. I then did another OpenGL performance test using Cinebench R15 which gave me a score of 93.51 frames per second. And of course using Cinebench again I did test out the CPU performance and with this I got a score of 591 CB. And lastly I did export a 4K file which was 5 minutes 23 seconds in length at H.264. Now this did take around 3 minutes and 6 seconds to export. So then guys that has been it for today's video I do hope you did enjoy it if you did enjoy it then be sure to hit that like button and if you are new around here then why not subscribe if you have got any questions then leave them down below in the comments and if you do want to see what video I am working on next then be sure to add me and follow me on my social media thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time have a good one